Hey guys, Repairman here, here to repair your builds. So today, unlike a lot of my other videos where they're top tier weapons or frames, this one is not going to be top tier, just a disclaimer. This one is more of a fun weapon, and fun it is. Are you sick of running around dropping ammo pads all the time? Are you sick of having to farm for materials to make all those ammo pads? Or run around for ammo on the ground? Well, this is the weapon for you. The Siren, or however you pronounce that shit. So first what we've got to worry about is this weapon has... You don't have to worry about ammo capacity because it's unlimited. It's the reload that's the key because it regens over time when you're not shooting. So stunning speed is good. It's not quite as uh, much as the other reload mod, uh, quick draw I believe it is, just 5% less, but you get another 10% status, which means it's gonna scale more. And we have three status mods, you know, vir we got viral and heat, and you can throw on more heat to give it a real oomph of damage, or in my case, I got a ribbon, Maybe not the best ribbon for it, but it adds a decent bit more damage, as you see in all the different categories, as well as more fire rate, which might uh, make it a little more unwieldy in mission, because it fires more. But, to combat that, I have Chroma, built for Toxic, with max duration. If you go with absolute max duration of 306, Prime Continuity... Augur message, narrow minded constitution, um, and then if you want to apply that to your allies, everlasting wars. And the rest are just trivial power strength, tank mods. Those other mods are the key. Because duration actually means how high the reload and holster rate go up. Alright, so now let's put it into practice and show you a mission. Cat's a good one, especially with the way I have it built. I have it built for Viral. Viral cuts their health in half, and they have health. Generally, almost none of them have armor. You can either go with Corrosive to take out the Ancient Healers and the Moas easier, or Viral, which scales for long-term missions against Infested better. So, it depends what you're doing. If you're doing, you know, five way of a cat, it really doesn't matter which one of those two you go. Both are good ways to go. Maybe even a little better to do corrosive because it does a 75% extra damage bonus against the uh, ancient healers and the moas, which are usually the one that add that damage resistant, make them a little tougher to take down the whole team. All right, so without without the buff, oh, it'd probably help if I had the weapon out. Uh, without the buff, this is how fast it regens. Crazy slow, but if you run out of ammo completely, it doubles how long it takes to reload. That reload mod helps. Plus, I believe they reworked it a little bit, so it's not quite as bad as it used to be. Now, to make it even more unwieldy, we go and cast that buff. As you see, the other allies are getting that buff already. 107. I fire. Even faster. Basically doubles how fast it reloads. Heck, I mean, you could even play around without that reload mod on and just run with Chroma itself and might be able to run it with the way they reworked it. Um, but especially if you're not going to use Chroma at all, then you probably even more want to use the um, that reload mod. Yeah, pretty fun. So it's looks more like a uh, like the Atomos, the way it fires that beam. Except it doesn't chain like the Atomos. But unlimited ammo, no capacity. Just keep on firing. Just the magazine to worry about and reload. It's a pretty decent status. Does pretty decent damage. Bam. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. 
until next time, you guys have fun, keep them bombers cooking.